What a fine inning Smriti Mandana is playing today. One of the best ever I've seen till date. Just have a look at how she has played today. It's been a fabulous inning till 90s, but in the last 10 to 12 balls, she is playing it safe. Maybe she's facing the heat of the nervous 90s. It'll be interesting to watch how she approaches the next ball. Here comes the spinner and oh, it's a top ball. She'll have to concentrate further. It'll be really interesting to watch how she approaches her 100. The spinner comes again and it's a six. What a way to get a century. Amazing. Hey folks, CA Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very interesting video which is about a breakout trading strategy that I often use for swing trading. In this video, I'm not only going to talk about the theory part, I'm also going to give you loads of examples. So stay tuned till the end and don't forget to share this video with your family and friend. Are end and friend rhyming? Okay, so before we move on, I would love to thank these two viewers of ours. Their names are Mr. Suraj and Mr. Ajit. Thanks a lot for your continued support. And this year we have vowed for Har Ghar Investor. So keep on watching our channel, subscribe to the channel and share it with lots of your friends. So the breakout trading strategy that we are going to discuss in today's video is called as the pole and flag pattern. So how would it look like? Uh, simple, this is a pole, this is a flag, easy. Uh, that is in theory. Huh? How is it going to happen in real life? A chart, a stock cannot go just like this up in the air, right? It is going to go ahead with time. So typically, that's how a pole will look like. But then, how is the flag going to be formed? It is going to be formed in a sideways trend, right? Possibility number one. Possibility number two, it can also be in a little bit downwardish side. Is the and flag and pole pattern complete? Answer is no. Then you require a 6. And that is how the breakout will happen. I hope you have understood how a pole and a flag will actually take place. So here you have to understand the flag is nothing but a consolidation and the last candle is going to be a breakout candle. But then the big question is how do we trade such sort of formation? Now I want your 100% attention because in the next 2 to 3 minutes I am going to tell you 3 important points as to when can you enter in this strategy what will be your price target and how can you decide your stop loss amount. So let's understand this with the help of an example. So now let's understand how can we check for the entry point. So let's take this example that assume that the stock has seen an amazing run up and then it enters a consolidation phase. But after a good consolidation, assume that we see a breakout candle. Now if you are an aggressive trader, then ideally this breakout candle is the place where you have to enter. But then if you are not really an aggressive trader, you are kind of a conservative trader, ideally you take a 50% of your position at this level. Why? Because it may happen that the stock goes up comes down again, it retests this place and then it goes for a bounce again. So this retest point is where you can take the balance 50% of your position size. If you are not really sure on how to do a position sizing, I am also giving an I button, that's the video that you can check for position sizing. Well, one more very important point, going back to the breakout candle. If for this candle, the volumes are really high, it's like a cherry on the cake. I hope you have understood about how to uh, decide the entry point. Now comes the second important point as to how to calculate the price target. Now first things first, you have to check what is the size of the pole. For that, you can measure this height vertically and then you have to place this same height. Assume this is a 100 points run up. Then you have to place this right here at the breakout candle. This will be your target price. This again is a target price which is calculated by aggressive traders. Some conservative traders will calculate the 100 points length from the bottom side of the flag which will be right here up to 100 points. Again I hope you have understood how the price target is to be calculated. Now comes the important point as to what will be the stop loss. Now let's take this case that the stock the breakout the stock goes up but instead of continuing its upward journey it goes down and comes back into the flag and in fact it breaks the 
lower side of the flag as well exactly this is the place where you have to decide your stop loss i hope all three points of entry price target and stop loss are crystal clear now let's move on to some amazing examples this is the example of irctc and we saw an up flag pattern in this specific stock the period was somewhere around september 2021 i hope you are now able to clearly visualize how the pole is looking like then you can see a consolidation which is happening and please understand every time consolidation is not going to be exact exactly parallel to each other it's real life so some minor variation is ought to happen but then i hope you are able to visualize the cloth of the flag the consolidation of the flag and that's where you can see the breakout candle after which the stock has rallied quite a bit and the price target which was set as per our theory that has also been met now if i move on to another example of himadri specialty chemical this is the period of march 2022 again a similar case you can see that the stock had run up we saw a brief consolidation and then we saw a breakout candle and immediately after that within almost next 5 to 6 candles we saw that the price target was met i hope you have understood both these examples of up flag pattern Let's move ahead with the down flag pattern and let's understand how is it formed. So assume that the stock is at this specific price point, okay? Now it starts its downward journey and goes till here. Now a consolidation is being formed. So let's say it consolidates for some time and uh uh that's where it breaks the lower point of the flag now can you visualize where is the pole where is the flag the downward journey that you saw right now that is nothing but the pole and the consolidation that you saw that is nothing but the flag but then if we can see such a pattern then how do we calculate the price target and how can we have a specific stop loss point for that let's go ahead with some examples now let's take the example of a down flag here i have taken the example of gold where you can very clearly see that there was a downfall then there was a consolidation and yes then the downward journey started again but then we have to understand that whatever price target we are calculating that could have been calculated using two ways one by a conservative trader and one by an aggressive trader whatever i have shown in this specific chart i want you all to tell me in the comment section whether this is the price target calculated by a conservative trader or aggressive trader i am going to give my answer in the comment section in the pinned comment but before you read the pinned comment ideally you should be having your answer in your mind and then only check the pinned comment now let's move ahead with the second example this is of polycab india limited which flag is this up flag or down flag Your answer is correct this is clearly an up flag now let's understand what happened in this case we saw a good up move and then we saw a consolidation but towards the beginning of 2022 if you can see we saw a very nice breakout candle but what happened did the stock continue its upward journey or did it get back in the flag it got back within the flag there was no retest and bounce scenario it went down in fact it also broke the lower side of the flag somewhere around march 2022 ideally i can say in this case the stop loss was hit right what happens next now if you see the the stock price went again within the limit it went again sideways but went upwards broke the upward side of the flag again instead of continuing with its upward journey it eventually came down within the flag so now what is happening is this truly going in the flag and pole formation answer is no now it is more of a sideways trend is what we are seeing so just a quick revision what is a flag and pole pattern there's a good up move before the upward up move continues the stock sees a consolidation and then it sees a breakout it continues its upward journey why did i take the example of polycap because i wanted to tell you all that it's not a 100% accuracy case it might very well happen that there can be failures in the flag and pole pattern also well i hope till now you have understood what is an up flag you have understood what is a down flag not only the theory i hope you have also understood with the help of examples like i gave you the example of polycap you have also understood that there will not be a 100% accuracy in an up flag nor in a down flag but then whatever i have learnt with experience is that the accuracy of up flag pattern is typically high when the markets are trending in the upward direction 
Now that you have understood all these concepts, one important question is that how will I come to know whether up flag is being formed in a specific stock or not? Why only up flag? Whether any other pattern is being formed in any other stock or not? How do I stay updated? For that, if you visit my website rachnaranade.com, if you see in the blog section every single day, we keep on posting about various stocks wherein we can see some specific pattern. Everyone's favorite, typically memer's favorite stock, ITC we had identified on 20th May where we had written about the up flag pattern being formed and if you see, the stock went up by 15% in just three months. And that's what the chart looks like today. It hit almost 320 rupees wherein the target was achieved. So if you want to know about all these stock patterns which are being formed up to date, then don't forget to check out my blogs daily. It's barely a three minutes read. But if you're not really aware about technical analysis and if you want to learn about technical analysis right from scratch and in an absolute simplified manner, I also have a separate course on technical analysis wherein you get to learn a lot of concepts. And if you want to enroll for that, don't forget to apply this coupon code as well. There's one homework before I wrap up today's session. One homework is that you have to identify a flag and pole pattern and you have to let me know in the comment section which stock is that. And if you want to learn more about what is MACD indicator, you can click here. And if you want to know how to decide whether to buy a house or not, you can click here. Till then, take care. Shahind and bye-bye.